All right, we are doing technique tonight. I might do a little bit of popcorn. Uh, we're gonna work um, through some, you know, just basic. We're gonna do our splits all together and hold them for a whole minute to start with. We are going to do a little bit of ballet placement, some turns. Nothing too wild and crazy. You guys do such a good workout on Monday that I, um, I don't want it to be two conditioning nights in a row. Like conditioning is good, but I also want to make sure we're working on our placement and our technique. Okay. So if we do popcorn, which would mean that I kind of got through all the things I planned on doing this evening. Um, what I would love for you to think about is a movement as opposed to an exercise that you would like to work on. Okay. So get that in your brain. If there's, if we get there, then I will ask for, I will kind of click through you and unmute you. If I can do that, I think I can do that for my computer and um, get ideas from you, but I'm not going to go to every person. And I prefer it not be like push-ups and um, that kind of thing. Bridges are a good technique thing. Um, sautés are a good technique thing. So that is both cardio and dance, but I want to focus on our technique and our placement tonight, okay? All right, so get your space. Let's work together. I'm going to get my paper somewhere. There it is. Right page. All right, so we're going to do a little stretch together because I want to do splits together. So we are going to do our normal hurdle stretch that we do in technique class every single week. So going over to your right leg first, down into your runner stretch. And pull back and flex that front foot, stretch over. Over that leg, big deep stretch. And then come back down into our runner stretch, leaving our front hand on the ground and we're reaching our back arm for the ceiling. Big stretch in our spine, looking up at our fingers, but not letting our arm go back. We want it reaching up for the ceiling. And then take your hands next to our leg, set our knee down, pull back, turn out so our pinky toes are on the ground, hips are over our um, knee, stretch forward. And Mr. Alex, I made you co-host. Um, I actually need you to make the other one co-host. Oh, me. Sorry. Thought I was on top of it. Where's you were, I just locked into the wrong one first. What's the other one? AP. Uh, it's not on here. Should be. Oh, it's at the bottom. All right, sorry, pull back. We're going to go. So we're here. We're here. You're here, pull back up. Now hands on our waist, slowly down. When you have to catch, catch, right? But try and control it first. If you can live here with your hands up, you should, because that'll keep your chest from falling forward, okay? I don't think I should live there, but you should live there. While you're here, I'd like you to take your chest up to the ceiling. And then over the leg. We're going to rock onto our front hip, and I want you to bend that back knee toward your bum. Grab it, stretch. Oh, I don't think that was a whole minute. I think that was 45. Man, all right. 45 seconds we're going to do splits together today. That's what I said. That's what we're going to Come out, swing through. Let's go to our other side. Ready? So we're up on our runner stretch again. Here. Pull our chest up, press our hips down into the floor. And holding over our leg and flex our front foot.
back down again. Take that front hand in by our foot. Reach our other arm up for the sky. We are twisting towards our knee, fingers reaching for the sky. And then setting that arm down, setting our knee down, turning out that extended leg, baby toes on the ground, hold our body over, keep that knee straight. I'm sure Mr. Alex is fine. Everything's fine. All right, we are here. Now we are sliding into our split all the way in. Oh, wait. Let's do it the same way. Hands on our hips. Slide down. Feel fancy. Catch it when you have to. Or live there. Okay, now while you're here, chin up to the sky. Hold it there. Keep that split. Don't come out just because I'm old and broken. You stay in. Chin up. Hold, hold, hold. All right, same thing, folding forward over the leg. And then taking it over to our hip. Grabbing that back leg, pulling towards our bum, getting a big stretch in that quad. If that's not a big enough stretch, you, you have to lift your chest, right? So that makes the stretch deeper, for sure. Yeah? Make your post higher, it'll make your stretch deeper. The lower you are down here, the more of a look like an ass situation we're in. Okay? We want to be pressing ourselves forward. All right, from there, let's come back up. Nice wide sumo stretch, center. Final twist side. And other side. Elbows to our knees, press those hips as wide as you can get them. Using your hands or your arms, whatever you got, to push those elbows out. Push those knees with your elbows. All the energy holding here. Pulling, oh, at the same time, pulling your tailbone forward, right? Don't let your booty stick back. We want that tailbone coming forward. So I see some of you like this. That is not stretching you. You need your tailbone going down, leg coming back. None of this. Okay, there we go. Now lift up, slide into your center split. Ready, set, go. This one's all you. Watch somebody else or just be proud of yourself. Ready, go. Split. Real split. Don't cheat your split. Push your split. Hold your split. Love your split. Get better at your split so you love your split more. Keep holding. Try and relax while you're here. Take some big deep breaths. The more you relax, the less your hips are going to hold on. And the easier it will be to slide into a full split. The more stressed out you are, the tighter your muscles are, the harder it is to stretch into that full split. So you're working harder and it's harder. All right, slide forward into your frog. Push those feet together. And let's do some beats right here. If you're all the way down at the floor, lift up just like two inches so your feet can go, you know, front and back and front and back this way, okay? So we're just letting our knees and our hips relax while pushing down into the floor at the same time. So this would be called a dynamic stretch. We're moving and we're stretching our body at the same time. So we're focusing on our technique, our placement, while engaging our flexibility. Yes, while we're here. All right. Let's go ahead and vote. So we're already here. So we're just going to take our feet behind us, grab our uh, ankles. We're pressing at the top of our feet into our hands and lifting our chin at the same time. Ready? We're lifting up, holding eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Back down, deep breath. One more time. And we're pressing up for eight, seven, lift that chest. Five, four, three, two, one, and back down. Go ahead and press up into your bridge. I'm going to slide all over the place. And come down, switch over to our plow. Toes over, head. Engaging. Remember, our plow is not here with our, I know you can't see me. So lift our tailbone from the ceiling like a candlestick before you drop your toes. So that way it's coming behind you and not on top of you. And rock it out. Five rocks. Ready? One, two, three, four, all the way up on five. Shake it out. Should be pretty loose. I think most of you usually warm up before we come on here. So between me being getting you a little stretch, that should be good. All right. So we are going to start with some sautés to get our aerobic work going on. Yeah. Like I've told you guys, I think for the last two weeks, if you need music in the background and make you happy, please turn it on. When I put it on while I'm teaching you, I cannot hear you. I can't hear me. It makes it very difficult. But if you get unmotivated by blank space, fill it. Okay. So, so chase. We're going to jump first, second, fifth, first, second, fifth. So we're going to go one, two, three, four and first, out to second, one, two, three, both feet, four, into fifth, arms and fifth, one, two, three, four, back to first, one, two, three, four, out to second, one, two, three, four, ooh, I had ugly elbows, don't do that, and then to the front, fifth position, left foot front, one, two, three, four, all right, here we go, first position, six, Seven, B, and a one, two, three, four, second, one, two, point those toes, four, fifth, one, two, three, four, and the first, two, three, four, and the second, two, three, four, fifth, two, three, four. Same thing in parallel. So we'll be working one, two, three, four here. Arms will be reaching like this. One, two, three, four. Parallel second. One, two, three, four. I'm going to think of this one as a fourth position, just so you don't step on your own toes. It's, too, it's a little bit of a tight changement. So you're going here, switch, three, four. Back to parallel. Second. That one's hard for me. Fourth. Parallel. Keep those feet in line like on a ski. There we go. Five. Six, seven, three, eight, point, one, two, three, four, second, one, two, three, four, fifth, one, two, three, four, first, one, two, three, four, second, one, two, three, four, left, right, left, right. Was that one weird? No. When I jump to second, I don't know what you guys, but my hands like go this way. <laughs> you can't see that. Instead of being flat like this, I want to go like that to tell my toes to go forward. My hands are like, go! Yeah. That's just me. I'm just weird. Okay. So, <laughs> nice sautés. Yes. Um, think about when you're switching front to back for both of them, that the energy should be going through the feet, but squeezing with our inner thigh. So we're pushing through the feet, but squeezing through the feet and squeezing. Yes? So if you're doing turnout, it's the same thing. Glutes attachment to the hamstring, inner thigh for the pull. Okay? So that being said, we're going to try jumping from parallel first to parallel second, back to parallel first to parallel second. So we're going 
and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, this way. Don't turn out. Almost feels like you have to sickle. That's okay. We're gonna do eight. Let's just do eight, and we'll do the same thing turned out, okay? Arms are reaching. Five, six, seven, and a push, and a pull, push, and a pull. Five, six, seven, eight. Yes. I, st I see a lot of toes winged out on that second position. So be careful, we're in parallel second, not turned out second. Let's try that one more time. Parallel, five, six, seven, eight, and we're one, and a two, and a three, and a four, five, six, seven, and eight. A little bit better, I still see knees. Depends on where your cameras are at. I see some of your knees going out this way, and I see some of our toes. You gotta get everything moving forward, not let it opening up. <laughs> now that being said, we're going to open it up. Because we're going to go from turned out first to turned out second. So belly first, belly second. Okay? Eight sets. These should feel easier because you do them all the time. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Jumping out and it in. Out and it in. Out and it in. Out and it in. One and a two and a three, one and a five and a six and a seven and a eight. Not hard. So, I want to say this. Sometimes, regularly, we sacrifice our technique because we know we're going to do 85 of them. So if you know we're only doing eight, I want to see the very best version of your feet for those eight little stitches. Okay? So if you can find the best version of pushing the floor away, we're doing eight. We're not doing 85. So push the floor away like you would when you're performing as opposed to practicing. One more time and turn up. Five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, point, four, point, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. That one, that side was better, that was better with turn out. Just period. So now we're nice and warmed up. Good job, good. Good jumping. All right. Um, going from our step to we're going to do some abs. So, yeah, we're doing ballet abs. We're going to do our um, hollow to our candlestick that we worked on two weeks ago, I think. We'll call it two. So, we're going from here, where our hands and our feet are off the ground, arms are swooping underneath and pressing. And that's one. Okay, that's where we're going to start. We're going to get our core engaged. So we should be nice and sweaty, a little tiny, tiny bit out of breath, and now we're engaging our core. So a lot like how we dance. A little out of breath, a lot of bit of core. Find our hollow. Six, seven, scooping under, pushing up, rolling down. Find our hollow. Scooping under, pushing up, roll down, hollow. Scoop under, up, down, hollow, under, up, down, hollow, under. Legs don't touch. Up, down, hollow, under, up, down, hollow. Two more. Under, up, down. Hollow, last one, under, up, down, hollow. Did those look okay, Mr. Alex? Are you watching? I am watching, and yes, the only thing I see is some of us are using our hands to support it underneath when we go up into the candlestick. Like with, like, pressing on our hips? Yeah. Okay, so let's avoid that. So. Let's try, how can we make that less? Let's just do the candlestick part. Let's focus on pressing our hands into the floor. So if we focus on just dry, dry, driving our feet to the ceiling, pressing into our hands, rolling back down. Okay? So we'll just do eight of those without the hollow. So this is easier. Um, but focus, you should be grounding your arms. Pressing them flat into the floor to counterbalance the weight of your toes over your head. 
not thinking about lifting everything, or we're going to end up having to use our hands or rolling over and doing a back somersault. Okay? Let's do those. Here we go, guys. We're back. Roll up, cross, roll down. Roll toes, then hips, roll down. 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 Toes, and hips, roll down. I think we have two more. Let's do two more. Toes, hips, roll down. Last one. Toes, hips, roll down. Yeah. That was better. There was a lot less hands. Um, it made me notice that our feet, instead of pushing up or pushing like above our, like past our head or, you know what I'm, does that make sense? Sort of. So when um, they're in their candlestick, our toes are too far behind us? Yes, that one. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's harder, y'all. Don't do that. Right. Yeah? That old, like, work smarter, not harder situation? You're working harder, and it's still ugly. So we need our toes. Watch me once. Okay? One time. I'm not going to do a bajillion. I want you to think about the alignment that I'm creating between the, back, the top of my spine and my toes, okay? There's a specific pike position you kind of create. Well, it's not really pike. It's like a giant obtuse angle. So we come up with our toes first. They drive me up. Then I squeeze my glutes. Then I release my glutes. Then I lower my toes. If I try and do that all at one time, I'm going to shoot myself with the back cord. Okay? That was way harder and much uglier. Not proud of that. Okay? We want to be proud of ourselves when we finish this exercise. <sighs> All right. That being said, let's take it to releve. Core is warm. Sautés are warm. Let's do some releve in the center. Wherever you're at. Yeah, if you... Need something to grab onto if you're feeling a little wobbly today. Be near a wall or a chair or something. We're not doing anything crazy, okay? We're going to start in first position, and I want to roll. We're going to go plie, roll through the feet, squeeze it up, and set it down. So it's like the simplest box stretch ever, but what I want you to think about doing, I grab something so I'm do it slow. What I want you to think about doing, stacking our heels over our toes, and then when you straighten your knees, trying to keep your heels just as high as you were when you're in that demi plie. Okay, that's your goal. Here we go. Let's do four in first, four in second. So let's see how they look and go from there. Nice and simple. Not very many, so give it all your energy. Here we go. Arms in first, six, seven, we plie. Roll over, squeeze up. And down again. Plie. Roll over. Squeeze up. And down. And three. Roll over. Squeeze up. And down. Four. Roll over. Squeeze up. And down. Then when we go second position, this plie will go from demi to grand by rolling in the fourth arch. So we're going. Ready? Plie demi. Roll. We're now in the grand plie. Squeeze the glutes. Set it down. Do it better than I did. Here we go. Plie. Roll up. Squeeze. Push. Set it down. Plie. Roll up. Push into the floor. Push. Set it down. One more time. Plie. Through the toes. Press into the floor. Set it down. Okay. We're rolling to the outside of our foot on that releve. And um, a little bit of body folding over at the waist, not, not bad. It's almost not noticeable until we go from the releve and plie to the lift up. We're losing our balance forward because we're just slightly folded forward at the waist. Well, let's try on plie. That will force our heels to stay kissing together 
or they come apart and we can definitely tell that we're rocking over our baby so okay which is i think i know it's my biggest fear when we come back and it might be mr alex's biggest fear is that our ankles are not as tight and strong as they were when we left because we haven't had the endurance and the catching ourselves in these jumps and you say it a million times since we left this is one of those things if we roll out over our baby toe that is the easiest way as a dancer to break one of your metatarsals roll an ankle break an ankle and flame a foot basically take you off your season as hard as the season has been you don't want to come back to an injury so when we come up here keep those heels kissing together squeeze on top of it and set it down let's do eight we're just going to focus on that okay bring those arms in front six seven shoulders down Plie. heels kiss squeeze it up set it down Plie. Lift, press into the floor, push, set it down, three, and lift, and press, set it down, slow down a little, please, roll up, heels, knees together, and down, five, please, squeeze, and down, six, lift, Ooh, knees together, squeeze knees together, and down. Plie, heels up, knees together, squeeze, and down. I think there's one more, just do one more. Plie, heels up, keep everything together, squeeze it, push, and down. Okay, Ooh. all the middle feet work out. All right, what I am seeing, which I'm sure Mr. Alex is seeing, are knees straying apart which is probably your ankles also rolling open. But from my, vantage, from my vantage point on my little tiny, my little tiny videos, I'm seeing us go here and then and we're all together. I mean, then we lift those heels, they come a little bit apart and then we go stand up and all of a sudden we're really, and I know some of us are bow-legged. Yeah, no, I know when I'm up here, my knees don't touch anymore, but that's just because I got booty. But like some of you are built where your knees come out a little and come back in. That looks totally different than when your ankles rock out. And it's actually easier to keep a good position in your feet to focus through your legs and trying to squeeze those knees together. You're going to find your balance is a lot better that way, and you're going to be able to control your movement a lot better that way. Absolutely. One of the things that I learned that changed the way I relevate forever is instead of thinking about lifting up, what's pressing down. So when I'm in center and I don't have a bar, I think about lifting my heels off the ground. And then when I go to straighten my knees, I'm not going to be able to do this. Really I push into my toes as opposed to thinking about lifting. When I lift myself up, I, I wobble like this. So try, I don't care what, but you can be in parallel second. I don't care. Think about going over your forced arch. And then instead of thinking about lifting, which drops my relevant way back, Think about pushing all your weight into your big toe and driving your energy down into the floor. It feels totally different. I promise. It's like a game changer. I can hold a relevate for years, like literally hold a so just be like, what? Yes, hanging out, pushing down into the floor. The floor's still there. I'm still there. But if you think about, oh, I have to stay lifted. Oh, I have to stay lifted. Oh, I'm not lifted anymore. Yeah. Can anybody feel that? Or is that too abstract? Is that too far ahead where, from where we're at right now? Anybody? Nobody feels it. Nobody. I do sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes it's a start. All right. Well, that's going to be my homework for you. I want you to try to push into the floor. We'll, we'll move on for today. All right. Um, please. Yes, after our real day. Let's stay in center. We're going to go um, lifting and demi and stretch and demi and stretch ground plie all the way through the floor. We're going to do four sets in first, four sets in second, four sets right fourth, right fifth, four sets left fifth. Okay? Let the sweat drop. Just all the sweat dropping drop down your face. Here we go. Big deep breath. Six, seven, and we demi. And open, demi, and plie. Ground plie. Well, my arms are not spot. Demi plie. <laughs> Through the floor. Seven, eight. Here we go. Demi, 
and stretch. Demi, and stretch. And ground plie, tailbone down to the floor, just through the floor, and up. Three, and up, reach, and open. Ground plie, tailbone down, chest up, MCS tilting forward. Keep your spine in line, one more, Demi, and stretch. Shoulders in your back pockets. Grand plie, down. Two, three, the bottom one, four, squeezing, five. Heels down, seven, eight. Time to do the second, find your center. Seven, and down. And stretch, down. And stretch. Grand plie, through center. Up, open, keep those. You see going. And stretch, down. And stretch, lift our arches, ground plie, don't bounce. Three, four, squeezing five, six, seven, and demi, and stretch. Chins up, shoulders down, and stretch. Ground plie, two, three, bottom four, squeezing five, six, seven. Was that four, Alex, or was that three? Anybody? Say three. 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 Okay, one more. Six, seven. Demi, and stretch, reach, demi, and stretch, grand plie, lift as we drop, press down as we lift, seven, and right foot in front, this position, shoulders in our back pocket, lift that chest up, five, six, seven, and demi, and stretch, demi, and stretch, lift, grand plie, two, Three, bottom four, heels on five, six, seven, and down. Stretch, down, stretch, lift, one, two, three, bottom four, pressing five, six, seven, down. Stretch, down, stretch, squeeze. Make sure your foot doesn't go parallel on your grand plie. Six, seven, one more. Demi. Keep those arches lifted. Don't kill your mice. And up. Grand plie. One, two, three, bottom four, five, six. Whew. Oh my gosh. Shake it out just a second. Whew. You can feel my arches. All right. Left foot front. Rock those hips open. Here we go. Last set. Five, six, seven, and demi. And stretch. Reach demi. And stretch, lift, grand plie, two, three, bottom four, heels on five, six, get those heels down faster, demi, and stretch, demi, and stretch, heel, lift, two, drop, three, four, press to lift, seven, and demi, and stretch, demi, and stretch, lift, grand, two, three, four, heels, six, Ooh, one more, demi, and stretch, demi, and stretch, lift, grand plie, two, three, four, heels, five, oh my gosh, seven, eight, shake it out, get a drink of water, ouch. Um, the thing that I noticed on that the most was especially like in our fifth positions, um, we would have like one leg that stay turned out and one leg that was much more parallel so we weren't weren't having uh, equal angles between the two legs um some people it was their front leg some people it was their back leg so it's hard to say which one um but like jillian i saw you trying to fix that your front leg was turning in when you were doing your grand plie on your right side fifth um and i saw you trying to keep that leg turned out on the way out but she, she was not the only one that seemed to be uh, one of the issues Okay, really fast, I'm gonna use my little foot cam for a second though I do a point clap sometimes. So here's what I'm seeing that's driving me nuts. We're in first position and we do a plie. And instead of saying put space here, we're rolling. See how my puma rolls and now you can read it and it's gone. So when we do that plie, we're getting this roll and then we're sending heels down and then roll. And that is called knee surgery when you're 15. Okay? So 
We have to keep our arches lifted. The way that my dance teacher told me when I was younger was like, create a little house for your mouse, right? So I just create like a super diagonal on the camera shot. Not so bad. So we want our, our, our arches here to stay away from the floor. So stand up, crunch your little baby toes until they're underneath your feet. Super uncomfortable, not cute, okay? That overcorrects. So that is lifting my arch off the ground. I literally could put a golf ball under my foot now. Okay, here's your exercise that I want you to work on. I want you to try and keep that shape under your foot and lift and set your toes down. Then lift and pull your toes under. Do it, ready? Crunch your toes, relax your toes. Crunch your toes, relax your toes. Crunch your toes, I can't tell if you're doing it, but that's okay. Crunch your toes, whew, relax your toes. Crunch your toes, relax your toes. Crunch your toes, relax your toes. So the goal is that we keep the arch space of our toes when they're crunched, when our toes are on the ground. It's really difficult, but it is beautiful, okay? It keeps you from looking flat and rolled in on your movement. And that is something I would say every single dancer, including our staff, could get better at, because we all can work on lifting our arches off the ground. Yes, and some of you are naturally more flat-footed than others. So this is something you can do sitting, well, at school. Um, because <laughs> I'm living at school right now. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to give you to work on. Simple. Lift your arches, set your toes down. Lift your arches, set your toes down. Lift your arches, set your toes down. That's going to make you stronger. It's also going to eventually need to be stretched out. So feel free to do that now so don't cramp for the next exercise. Stretch feet out a little bit, stretch toes out a little bit. You should feel that. If you don't feel it, you're doing it wrong, so try again, right? <laughs> Moral of the story. <laughs> if it doesn't work something, you're not doing the work. Okay, time to dig a joy, polish mom. Yeah, we're going, and up. One, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven. I can't go higher than that eight. Other foot, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. So on the floor, just off the floor, waist high, kick yourself in the head. Okay, fantastic. I'm in a diagonal, I guess, is what my daughter is telling me. But does that make sense? Good. Let's do ooh, four sets. We'll shake it out and we'll do four more sets. I'm not going to lie to you and say, let's do four and see how it goes. We're doing eight, but four and then four. Okay. Let's. Oh, Hands on waist, shoulders, and back pockets. Focus on your feet. Because I don't want to get sidetracked looking at all your little elbows drop to the ground. Okay? Focusing on our feet. Six, seven, and we tendu, dégagé, waist high, kick your face. Tendu, dégagé, waist high, kick your face. Tendu, dégagé, bat main, grand bat main. Point your toes, dégagé, bat main. Ground bat main. Tendu. Dégagé. Bat main. Ground bat main. Tendu. Dégagé. Bat main. Ground bat main. Tendu. I can't remember. Was that four? I feel like that was four. Shake it up. That wasn't bad. I saw a little bit of clinching. Um, oh, I'll just show you. I'm already, I'm like spotlighted, right? So. Your video's I'm frozen. I'm frozen? Yeah. Oh, my phone is dying. Cool, cool. Well, let's see if I can put it. I will spotlight Grace. All right, ready? Everybody up. Arms are on, hands are on our waist. On five, six, seven, eight, and tendu. Degage. Bat ma, ground bat ma. Tendu, dégagé. 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 Bat ma, ground bat ma. Last one. Tendu, dégagé. Bat ma, ground bat ma. 
So apparently my phone has like no service. So I will just turn my little crappy webcam camera on. And we're just going to keep going. Start video. Ooh, you can't see me. All right. All right, thank you, Grace. I appreciate it. <laughs> all right, so we are going to take our tondus and, ooh, you can't see my face at all. That's okay. I'll just shoot it down. You don't need to see my face. So we are going to do quicker bottom <laughs> quicker tondus. I got all some stuff in my head. So we're going to go and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Let it come off the floor, jeggy jig, and a five, and a six, and a seven, and a eight. Okay? Then we do the other foot. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Off the floor, and a six, and a seven, and a eight. Miss Marissa. Yes? Are we, are we doing it all the way up, or, or are we just doing it a little up? So we're doing a little, we're just doing degage. I know it's kind of hard. This camera is way not as good as my phone camera, but I will do my best so you can see it. So we are just coming just off the floor, back to the floor. Just off the floor, back to the floor. We're gonna stay on the floor for four, four and a three and a two and a one, off the floor for four and a three and a two and a one. All right? So let's do that together. Here we go. Hands on our waist, shoulders in our back pocket. Right foot. Five, six, seven, time, do. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Degage, two, three, switch feet. And a one, two, three, four. Degage, six, seven, do it again. Time, do. And a two, kick those heels two together. Degage, six, seven, eight, time, do. And a two, three, four. Degage, six, one more set, time two, and a two, and a three, and a four, degage, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, four, degage, six, seven, eight. Got to okay. make sure we're keeping our knee straight all the way through that. I got a little bit of knee foot happening. Not that extreme. It's, it's small, but it's just enough to be able to see it. Oh, okay. Well, unfortunately, we're on to the jump part. So if Mr. Alex, if they can't see me do this, highlight someone that you can see their camera better. I want to work on assemblé. It's a perfect jump to work on when you don't have a lot of space because our feet are assembling. They are coming together. So we are going to take our right foot from fourth position. We're going to brush out. I'm going to make my ankles come together in the sky. And then I'm going to land in fifth. Okay? So we are going to do... Fourth position, take that right foot we're going, brush, squeeze, come together. Oh, Eliza got chosen. Okay, so assemble feet come together. Ready? From fourth position, six, seven, eight, brush, squeeze, close. See how our feet came together in a suit suit on there? So in the air and our ankles come together. Let's try that on our other side now, okay? So all we're doing, exact same thing. From fourth position, my back foot is going to go the opposite direction. I'm going out to my left now. Rush, squeeze, close. Rush, su su. Yes. And see how we need to land in that plie? Miss Eliza is doing that quite well. So we want to brush those feet out, plie stretch. And then she can catch herself. If she would have landed, okay. Yeah, she bobbled. Oh, life goes on. If she would have landed straight knee and bobbled, she would have fallen. Okay, but she took an extra little step and we're fine. All right, so assembly again on this left side. Let's do that one more time before we put it all together. We're gonna take our left foot, brush it out, squeeze to soup, set it down. All right, good. So, yeah. let's just do a couple back and forth. Really, it's much easier to do from a glee sock. Okay, much easier to go brush, brush, Brush close, but because that's a lot of shapes at one time, let's focus on our assemblé and we'll add our glee saw that you guys all already know how to do, okay? So starting with our right foot, we take our right foot behind, we brush out, squeeze, stretch. Good job. Coming back the other direction, ready? Brush out, squeeze, stretch. Again, brush out, squeeze, stretch. One more time. Brush out, squeeze, stretch. 
All right. If you would like to add arms to that, if you have the space above you, these are first arabesque arms in assemblée, right? <laughs> yep, first arabesque. So we brush, if we are going to the right, and my right foot is behind, my right arm is coming up in front of me, my left arm is following, and I'm in first arabesque placement. So I'm here. Yes. Okay, so if you want to add arms, you can. If you don't, keep them on your waist. Let's try two, one to the right, one to the left, one to the right, so four total. Six, seven, and brush it out, plie squeeze. Switch and brush it out, plie squeeze. Switch through, brush out, plie squeeze. Switch through, out, plie squeeze. Nice. Okay, Mr. Alex, you come back to me pretty please? We're gonna go ahead and put our glissade assembly together. So we are gonna go as far stage, much for you, stage left as we possibly can. Get as far to the left side as you can for your camera. And we are gonna brush across, glissade right, left, assemble, brush, squeeze. My arms that are on top that you cannot see are going second for my glissade, first arabesque, assemble, okay? Then going back to the left, as far as we can, stage right, glissade, brush, brush, assemble, brush, squeeze, and our feet switch places. My arms are going brush, brush, Squeeze, arabesque, okay? I think if there's one thing you do perfectly, it would be get our feet in the right place. On a glissade, we close front. On an assemble, we close back. So my feet go. They stay the same. Glissade, still the same. Awesome. Oh, wait. No, they go. They switch, and then they, oh, they switch both times. Hold on. Miss Marissa's a crazy person. We go. Brush to the wrong foot. <laughs> okay, they do stay the same. But take off with our back foot, glee side, left foot follows. Take off with our back foot, switch feet. And then I immediately can glee side with this back foot again. Glee side, back foot, assemble. Now I can go the other direction with my back leg. Glee side, assemble. And do the same thing again, but my back foot is going, stays in the back, brushes to the front. Do it again. So we have this back foot go, leaf side stays back, brushes to the front, stretch. Do that again. Leaf side stays front, brushes front, switches places. Mr. Alex, is there anything I need to address? Uh, I think the same thing about keeping your uh, leg nice and straight when it pushes through and not letting it break through the knee first. On the assemble or on the glissade or both? Both probably. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All the things. So on a glissade, right, the idea is that we're coming from a plie fifth position and our feet escape from each other, right? They slide apart. Um, so they are already bent here. We don't then lift our hips and bend them again. All right? So we are down. From here, we extend both feet apart. Brush. Then from here, I am, again, already bent. Yeah, these are all jetés, right? This is the jeté. We brush this back foot from the back. It gets straight. This one also comes up. It meets up straight. Then they come back down to plie. So we don't want to bend because it turns into, I'll just show you, it turns into end of this, end of this, end of this, end of this. Okay? You would know it was wrong if you saw it. It's just hard to fix it on ourselves sometimes. So let's try a couple more. Get as far as we can to the side, fit position. Six, seven, we glee saw brush, plie, squeeze straight, plie, other way, glee saw, plie, lift, assemble, again, glee saw, brush, 
assemble and green side brush assemble I'm seeing a little bit, and this is really picky, but I'm seeing, I, I have like my four, like four or five older dancers in my little side screen. When we're finishing our glaze sod, I'm seeing a bit of a, my foot is going almost parallel, and my hips are now driving diagonally. Whereas from my glaze sod, my hips here should stay here for an ensemble. If I was doing a cabriole, which most of you that I'm talking about right now, we would hear and then we would pivot face that way. So that's the shape I'm seeing a little bit more a real shape. Okay, shake it out. Whew, that's a lot of plie and stretch and jump and plie and stretch. Nine minutes. Whew. Okay, wow. Killing it today, guys. Good job. All right. Um, I wanted to. PK turn. We've Shane turned the last couple of weeks, so we have not PK turned. Um, so I would like the PK turn going back and forth as we've done with our Shane the last few weeks. So same idea. We're going up and down and scoop and switch. That way, no, even if you're in a room my size, you can fit your turn. Think about your spot. PK means to stab. So I am not going and push onto my leg. Right? I'm going onto my leg. Straight as an arrow. Here we go. PK turn. Six, seven, and we're up, down, rushing through. Up, down, rushing through. Step on it. Up, down, rush, and. Up, down, rush, and. Up, down, rush, and. And up, down, rush. Okay, those of you that have been in technique for, you know, a year, all of you, what is the only thing that bends on our leading leg to go up to a PK? Unmute yourself and scream it out. I'm not going to see hands. Ankle. No. Good try, though. Nobody? Plie. Nope. Okay. So my... Leading leg on a PK turn. Did somebody say it? The only thing that bends is my toe. So that's my tondu. That's my releve. Okay? Nothing up here bends. Nothing down here bends. Okay? So just the toe. Do it again. Focus. Press into that four. Six. Seven. Bend the toe. Here we go. Up. Down. Brush. Through, step onto it, stab, press, pull, through, stab, and pull, through, stab, and pull, through, stab, brush, pull, through, stab, brush, one more each way, here we go, up, brush, keep those front knees straight, stab into the floor, brush, through, is that better on? legs at all. I can only see four people now that I'm on a webcam. Yes. We'll yes, say. We'll okay, we'll say, we'll say yes. I like yes. It's okay. Um, before we go, one last exercise. We are going to um, single or double pirouette. I'm going to give you an eight count. So if you have space to do a triple and can in your space, go for it. Um, so we are going to Parallel turn, because last week we did inward toward, we did parallel passe fold. No, we did, it doesn't matter. Parallel, we did passe turns and turn, holds and turn out last week. So what I want you to do is just squeeze our feet together, and I want you to step your prepping leg forward, pick up that back foot, turn, and set it down in a second. And you have eight counts to do that, however many turns you're doing, okay? We're going to do four on the right, four on the left. Okay, so we're on the right side. We're picking up our right knee, turning to the right side first. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze one, step two, turn three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze one, step two, turn three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze one, step two, lift three, four, 
five, six, last one. Squeeze, step, lift. Five, all of you off the floor. Seven, eight. Ready? Switch feet. Five, six, seven, eight. And squeeze. Step, hold. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And squeeze. Step, hold. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And squeeze. Step, hold. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze. Step, hold. Five, six. Should be on your left side. Yep. Okay, guys. We got three minutes to get to rehearsal. Mr. Alex, did you have anything? Nope. All right. Don't be late for class. 